At the end of this module, you will be able to understand application problems involving trigonometric ratios. You have learned many situations in day-to-day -day life where trigonometry is used in the introduction chapter of trigonometric ratios. Let us learn in detail how to solve these application problems in trigonometry. You must have seen flag hoisting on many important occasions. Is it possible to calculate the height of a flag post without actually measuring it? Let us assume that a person of height 1.5 meters is saluting the flag. Standing on the ground at a point A which is 20 meters away from the foot B of the flag post. Let BD be the height of the flag post and AE be the height of the man. He observes the top of the flag post at an angle of 60 degrees. So angle DEC is 60 degrees. Now we calculate the height of the flag post that is BD with the help of trigonometric ratios. In a right angle triangle DEC, as we know tan E is side opposite to angle E by side adjacent to angle E. Hence tan 60 degrees is equal to CD by EC. Value of tan 60 is root 3 and EC is equal to 20 meters. So CD is equal to 20 into root 3 and that is 20 into 1.732 is equals to 34.64 meters. Now we know that BC is 1.5 meters and CD is 34.64 meters. Hence BD is equals to BC plus CD is equals to 1.5 plus 34.64 meters is equals to 36 plus 14 meters. Therefore, height of the flag post is 36.14 meters. Thus, we are able to find the height of the flag post without actually measuring it. If one side and one acute angle are known, we can find the other sides of the triangle using trigonometrical ratios. Let us define a few terms which we use very often used in finding the heights and distances. A theodolite is an instrument which is used in measuring the angle between an object and eye of the observer. A theodolite consists of two graduated wheels placed at right angles to each other and a telescope. The wheels are used for the measurements of horizontal and vertical angles. The angle and the desired point is measured by positioning the telescope towards that point. The angle can be read on the telescope scale. If we are viewing an object, the line of sight is a straight line from our eye to the object. Here we treat the object as a point since the distance involved is quite large. If an object is below the horizontal line from the eye, we have to lower our head to view the object. In this process, our eyes move through an angle. This angle is called the angle of depression. The angle of depression of an object viewed is the angle formed by the line of the sight with the horizontal line when the object is below the horizontal line. If an object is above the horizontal line from our eyes, we have to raise our head to view the object. In this process, our eyes move through an angle formed by the line of sight and horizontal line which is called as angle of elevation. To solve problems involving heights and distances, the following strategy may be useful. First, read the statements of the question carefully and draw a rough diagram accordingly. 2. Label the diagram and mark the given values. 3. Denote the unknown dimension, say h when the height is to be calculated and x when the distance is to be calculated. Four. Identify the trigonometrical ratio that will be useful for solving the problem. 5. 
Substitute the given values and solve for the unknown. Example 1. A kite is flying with a string of length 100 meters. If the thread makes an angle 30 degrees with the ground, find the distance of the kite from the ground level. Assume that the string is along a straight line. Solution. Let H be distance of the kite from the ground level. Given angle BAC as 30 degrees and length of the string AC is equal to 100 meters. In a triangle BAC, we have sin 30 degrees is equal to BC by AC. Here BC is equal to H. So, sin 30 degrees is equal to H by 100. But sin 30 is 1 by 2. So, H is equal to 100 into 1 by 2 is equal to 50 meters. Hence, the distance of the kite from the ground level is 50 meters. Example 2 A ladder leaning against a vertical wall makes an angle of 60 degrees with the ground. The foot of the ladder is 4.5 meters away from the wall. Find the length of the ladder. Solution Let AC denote the length of the ladder and let it be x meters and be the foot of the wall. Then angle CAB is 60 degrees. So from triangle CAB cos 60 degrees is equals to AB by AC. This implies AC is equals to AB by cos 60. That is X is equals to 2 into 4.5 is equals to 9 meters. Thus the length of the ladder is 9 meters. Example 3. Find the angular elevation, angle of elevation from the ground of the sun when the length of a shadow of a 15 meter long pole is 5 into root 3 meters. Solution. Let S be the point of sun and BC be the pole. Let AB be the length of the shadow of the pole. Let the angle of elevation of the sun be theta given AB is equal to 5 into root 3 meters and BC is 15 meters. In triangle CAB we have tan theta is equals to BC by AB that is tan theta is equals to 15 by 5 root 3 is equals to 3 by root 3 is equals to root 3. But we know that tan 60 is root 3 so theta is 60 degrees. Hence the angle of elevation is 60 degrees. Example 4. A vertical tree is broken by the wind. The top of the tree touches the ground and makes an angle 30 degrees with it. If the top of the tree touches the ground 15 meters away from its foot, then find the actual height of the tree. Solution. Let C be the point at which the tree is broken and top of the tree touches the ground at A. Let B denote the foot of the tree. Given AB is equal to 15 meters and angle CAB is equal to 30 degrees, now let us consider the angle CAB. We get tan 30 degrees equal to BC by AB, but AB is equal to 15 meters and tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So we get BC is equal to 15 by root 3 that is equal to 5 into root 3 meters. Also cos 30 degrees is AB by AC, but cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and AB is 15 meters. So we get AC is equal to 30 by root 3 that is 10 into root 3 meters. We have to find the height of the tree that is BC plus AC is equal to 5 root 3 plus 10 root 3 is equal to 15 root 3 meters. In this lesson you have learnt the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to the point of the object viewed by the observer. The angle of elevation of an object is viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when it is above the horizontal level that is the case when we raise our head to look at the object. The angle of depression of an object viewed is the angle formed by the line of the sight with the horizontal when it is below the horizontal level. That is the case when we lower our head to look at the object.
the height or length of an object or the distance between two distant objects can be determined with the help of trigonometric ratios.